Okay, this section is the beginning of trigonometry. So, in right triangles, the sine means it's the ratio, so ratio means a fraction, of the side opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So no matter what, if you have, let's say this is a 30 degree angle, the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse is always going to be the same, no matter if it's a huge triangle or a tiny triangle. The ratio is always going to be the same because those those triangles are similar. So sine is a ratio, a fraction of opposite over hypotenuse. So this is a fraction bar. Cosine is adjacent divided by hypotenuse, and then tangent is opposite divided by adjacent. So we call this Soka Toa. That's a, that's a mnemonic device that you can use to memorize the um, opposite adjacent hypotenuse for sine, cosine, to tangent. So let's talk about what opposite adjacent and hypotenuse are. So if this is my x, the side that shares that's in common with the vertex is adjacent. So you're going to specify the hypotenuse right away because the hypotenuse is opposite the 90. So the hypotenuse is not, we're not calling it adjacent. The side adjacent is touching the angle. The side opposite is directly across from the angle. So let's use this first triangle right here and use Sokotoa and write out the ratios, the fractions. <clears throat> so the first one is we're starting at cosine of C, so start at this angle. Go up to cosine. Cosine is adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So if you're right here, the adjacent side is touching right here. This is 12. 12 is adjacent. The hypotenuse is 13. So this is 12 thirteenths. And it doesn't reduce, so that's your answer. The cosine of A is adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So adjacent to A is 5, and the hypotenuse is still 13. So cosine of A is 5 thirteenths. The sine of A, so sine is opposite divided by hypotenuse. So start at A, what is opposite of A? Well, it's right across here, 12. And the hypotenuse is still 13, so it's 12 thirteenths. And then tangent of B. So at tangent, oops, tangent, we have opposite over adjacent. So opposite is 13. But this can't count for anything. The hypotenuse is only the hypotenuse. It can't be the opposite. So if you had to do opposite over adjacent, Adjacent would be, is it 5 or 12? There's two adjacents if you're at the 90 degree angle. So we don't talk about the tangent of a 90 degree angle, the sine of a 90 degree angle, or the cosine of a 90 degree angle. So you, we're not going to, we can't write a ratio for this. But let's look at the tangent of A. So the tangent of A is start right here. Tangent is opposite divided by adjacent. So opposite of A is 12 and the adjacent to A is 5. It's not 13 because that's the hypotenuse. So it's 12 fifths. And now let's do the tangent of C. So start at C. Opposite of the C is 5. Adjacent to the C is 12. So it's 5 over 12. So I'll do another one over here. Okay. This one right here, this tall skinny one. So, I don't have all three sides. I only have this side and this side. So I can use Pythagorean theorem to find the third side. So 3 squared plus, we'll call this x. x squared equals 10 squared. So 9 plus x squared equals 100. So x squared equals 91, x equals the square root of 91, which 
I believe is prime, so we can't break it down anymore. So this side's the square root of 91. So now I'm going to use a tangent of y. So start at y. Tangent is toa. Soka toa. So tangent is opposite, which is this side, over adjacent. So it's 3 over the square root of 91. Now we don't want to leave a square root in the denominator, so we multiply the top by 91 and the bottom by square root 91. So the answer is 3 root 91 over 91. I'm running out of room. Now the tangent of x is start at x, tangent is opposite over adjacent, so 91 over adjacent is 3. So it's the square root of 91 divided by 3. The cosine of y is start at y. Cosine is so ka toa. Cosine is adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So start at y. What's adjacent to y? Well, this side's adjacent because this side's the hypotenuse. So it's going to be the square root of 91 divided by 10, which doesn't reduce. And the sine of x is going to be opposite of x, which is the square root of 91 divided by 10. So it's the square root of 91 divided by 10. Okay, this next one should be, I messed up. This right here should be an 8. So if you're doing the cosine of b, I'm going to write Sokotoa again. Sokotoa. If you're going to do the cosine of b, that's adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So start at b. Adjacent to b is 6, and the hypotenuse is 10. So it's 6 divided by 10, which is 3 fifths. You always want to reduce it. The tangent is opposite over adjacent. So b, opposite of b, is 8. And adjacent is 6, so this is 8, 6, which is 4 thirds. The sine of a is opposite over hypotenuse, so opposite of a is 6. And then adjacent to a is 8. So it's 6. Or wait, sine of a is oppos opposite over hypotenuse. Oops, I misspoke. So 6 tenths reduces to 3 fifths, and the cosine of a is adjacent over hypotenuse, so 8 tenths, which reduces to 4 fifths, so I always want to make sure you reduce it. And then the last one. Okay, the last one I don't have the hypotenuse. So to get the hypotenuse, I'm going to do 4 squared plus 5 squared equals c squared. 16 plus 25 equals c squared. This is the square root of 41. So if I'm doing, I'm going to write Sokotoa again. So if I'm doing the cosine, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So start at g. Adjacent to g is 5. And the hypotenuse is 41. So it's 5 divided by the square root of 41. So you want to rationalize again. So multiply the top by the square root of 41, multiply the bottom by the square root of 41. So it's 5 root 41 over 41. And then the cosine of f is adjacent over hypotenuse. So it's 4 over the square root of 41. And once you rationalize that, it's 4 root 41 over 41. And the sine of g, so sine is opposite divided by hypotenuse. So start at g, opposite is 4, and the hypotenuse is 41. So it's 4 over square root of 41 again, which is the same thing as here. Sine of f is start at f and do opposite 
over hypotenuse. So it's 5 divided by the square root of 41, which is going to rationalize to 5 root 41 over 41. The tangent of g is opposite over adjacent, so that's 4 fifths. And the tangent of f is opposite over adjacent, which is 5 fourths. So make sure you rationalize your square roots.